Hi everyone! I am Joanna, and today let's talk about limits and continuity. So first of all, what is limits and continuity? In mathematics, a limit is a number that a function approaches as the independent variable of the function approaches a given value. Limits are essential to calculus and mathematical analysis in general and are used to define continuity, derivatives, and integrals. Hi everyone, so I'm Jerome and I just want to have a pure conversation with you. So you may ask, is limits can be applied in a multi-limit or is it just a topic in calculus? Well, my answer is yes. Limits can be applied in our daily life. You may not notice it, but everything in this world has limits. In this video, me and Jerome are going to show you how limits can be applied in real life and define if it's continuity or discontinuity. There are so many examples of limits in our modern world, such as speed limits, gas intake, limits of the internet usage, and many more. But how can we be sure that these limits can be applied in real life? Jerome, let's give an example. Let's say I'm playing basketball. And my goal is to shoot this ball from that ring. Of course, in the real world, objects do not teleport. They move through an intermediate position along their path from A to B. Also, it takes a lot of time to determine what the exact position with the exact calculation on how should I shoot this ball. Therefore, my solution is to use limits. So my prediction is, if I use this for, if I continuously use this for, without any stop, I will achieve my goal. Let's see what happens. See? That is why limits are very important and they can be applied in our daily life. Now that we know that limits are part of our lives, there is still something that we need to learn. It is to how to identify the function of the limit. Is it continuous or discontinuous? But first, let us know what are they. Glad you asked, Joanna. A continuous function is a function that is a continuous variation. That is a change without a jump. This means that there is no abrupt changes in value. A discontinuous function is a function that is not continuous. An example of continuity is the continuous spread of information on the internet and in the media. Once it is posted on the internet, it will always be there. Discontinuity, on the other hand, is like when we walk up and down to the stairs. Since the steps in the stairs are elevated in each step, discontinuity happens every time we go up or down, or when we skip a step or more. And that is it! We're done! I hope this vlog helps you to understand that truly, limits can be applied in our daily life. See you next time and thank you for watching! Bye-bye!